morning, everyone. This is Pioneer Agronomist Tony Zeruzan. I wanted to take a couple minutes and talk about soil temperature in relation to corn planting. With cool weather coming up and dry soils, I've had many questions about whether or not growers should be planting corn. The big concerns we have are first and foremost the imbibe process, or the first 36 hours the seeds in the ground. One reason why temperature during the imbibe process is critical to corn emergence is the fact that the soil takes up most of the water needed for germination very rapidly. So to illustrate the rapid timing of the water uptake, there was a study done where seed was submerged in 50 degree water for three hours and weighed at intervals 30, 60, 120, and 180 minutes to determine the water uptake. So it's very clear that most of the water needed for germination is taken up right away. So early planting often exposes seeds to hydration with cold water, which can cause a direct physical damage. When the dry seed imbibes cold water as a result of cold rain, a chilling injury may occur. The cell membranes of the seed lack fluidity at low temperatures, and often these conditions the hydration process can result in a rupture of the membranes. The cell contents can leak through this rupture and provide a food source for invading pathogens. Cold water can similarly affect seeding structures as they begin to emerge. The degree of damage ranges all the way from seedling death to abnormalities such as corkscrews. There are many germination and emergence issues that come with planting into cold or wet soils. So please, we need to be mindful of the potential risks taken. Reference your product profiles, your sales reps, or myself to target which hybrids on your farm have the best chance or the better stress emergence scores to give you the most success this season. Thanks for listening and stay safe. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.